morning chaps welcome to the brew shed so today's plan today's plan involves going over to Chesterfield for a couple of reasons one we're going to see uh, a friend of Tom's sister who owns a design company called 13 Bends and we're going to get some of these done professionally instead of me doing it on GIMP if you like GIMP graphics and image manipulation program which is freeware which is what I used for all of the design work that I've done for the breweries in the past but I'm never 100% happy with the pump clips so we're gonna go and see a nice lady and see if we can get them done professionally hopefully they'll turn out way better than anything that I can put together and then once we've seen her it's going to be around 5 6 p.m. so we're going to meet up with Tom and Abby over there and uh, go for some lunch or some tea at a local boozer not sure where I think Tom's picked out a local harvester or something so yeah it's going to be doom bar and strongbow all around cheers Tom but the reason I've brought you up here is to grab some of the punk clip designs that I kind of like to give her an idea of what it is we're after so uh, let's just nip in the back and get some of the second hand pump clips and we'll go from now right here's a big old box of uh, of pumpy clipperoos you can see all kinds of stuff we've had on the bar so what I'm going to go through what I'm going to do is go through and pick out some that I think look all right, the kind of thing that we're going to be looking for. That's fine. I like Arbor. Looks all right. The standstill pump clips are a little bit uh, on the big side for me, but they're not a million miles away. I'm not too keen on the Titanic ones. I like the Almasty ones, look. You've seen what they do with these. It's on an actual piece of wood. Pretty neat. Right, big old chunk of punk clips, let's go through. Uh, that looks good, the Hammerton. Oh, the Willem, Willem punk clips, nice, yeah. Uh, Howling Hops, not quite what we're looking for. That's in the no pile. That one's no good, nothing on there. Uh, Eternal River. Not quite. The mower, maybe not. Or the Titanic. Fallen Brewery, quite plain and simple. Anyway, this is going to take me a while. So, uh, while I'm at it, may as well turn the video off. That's a nice one, isn't it? I like that. Red squirrel. Pretty neat. Mad squirrel, even. Right then, yeah, we'll come back uh, and I'll show you the fermentation tanks. Fermentation tanks down the bottom. Sat nicely at 10 degrees. I might even see if we can get it to four. Why not? It is the test batch after all. Well, before we go down there, I've settled on a short list of half a dozen or so pump clips that I like. So here you can see we've obviously got what was the previous branding style for IVB which is now defunct and I don't want to revisit but I'm going to take that across to give her an idea of the limits of or the capacity uh, the limit of my talent is the right terminology I picked these three out because even though they're all from separate breweries I like the font style how bold they are how simple they are for the uh, recognition of the fonts on the front and uh, I think they just look nice and clean to me anyway I've picked up some of the black Irish pump clips I like the theme I like the artwork I like the style I like the continuity obviously it's been done but it gives her an idea of uh, how we want the continuity through the brand to look same with the Red Willow Brewery. There are four pump clips here from Red Willow and you can see immediately you've got brand recognition there. 
which is something that's quite important. And again, Harbour, I really like these ones. They look simple, there's very little variation in the colour, but just enough to give you an idea that it's a different beer style. Extra pale, Session IPA, really impressed with these. I think this is the closest to what I would like to replicate. The Mad Squirrel, which we've looked at, I love the colour coding, looks really smart. Uh, nice, neutral, bold fonts on there, nothing too uh, curly, wavy or anything like that. Really impressed with these actually, I think that kind of thing will go a long way. And then of course to give a, an idea of a successful brand and the power of the brand, not that she needs to know the power of the brand, I thought I'd come along and show her some of the Tiny Rebel Punk clips. So we've got Dutty, Fubar, Kutch, Morning Glory, Juicy and One Inch Punch. We do also have Fug Life but that's on the bar at the minute, so I can't take that with me. So I think that'll give her a good indication of what we like. And then also I picked up these two from Will & Brewery. I love the imagery in these pump clips, how it's very simple font work, nice tidy, tidy wording, but great images in behind, and it just seems so seamless how they've made, managed to put these pump clips together very close to what I'd like to achieve as well so a bit of a confusing mishmash of punk clip styles here but hopefully we'll be able to get our heads together and come up with something that uh, that will give her an idea of where we want to be and then I'm also going to take across our actual logo and uh, well beer names I imagine is what she's going to need as well and then also a nice square. This is what we used to have all ours done on it originally. Um, this PVC foam. So I'll take this across so she knows uh, what we're working towards in terms of dimensions. Right, let's get down to the brewery ASAP. So as you can see, we've got the temperature steady and stable at 10.3. The uh, blonde is still sat at 18 and the chilli unit is stable at minus 12.1 so I'm in two minds now whether or not to drop the uh, test batch down to 4 degrees right away because it only went on the dry hop yesterday so it could do with a few more days at a warmer temperature on the dry hop before we decide to crush it down to almost freezing and I want to leave a little bit of heat in there for when I add some auxiliary finings uh, because the cooling will generate some type of uh, motion within the beer, some thermal currents if you like, which will distribute the, uh, distribute the auxiliary finings and help clear the beer. So if I take it down to 4 degrees now and then pour them in, well they're going to have difficulty permeating throughout the amount of beer that's in that tank so I think we'll just leave that there for a couple of three days and then we'll revisit it before the weekend and add some auxiliary finings and uh, and knock her down to four degrees see how she gets on see if she gets there for a start right I'm about finished in here now that's uh, that's me done for the morning I'm gonna go up home prepare I'll turn the light off prepare all of the uh, all of the design work that I need to take across to uh, to Chesterfield later on this afternoon and uh, well we'll see if we can bring the camera along hopefully we'll be able to get a few shots of Tomas before uh, before we come home no I can't play the piano right let's go Right folks, I've come back into work. Uh, I've just met a good mate of mine here, Stuart. He is a techno whiz, you might say. And, uh, well, he managed to sort the BIOS out for me. And we stuck Windows ISO on this flash drive and it looks to me like we're about to get a brand new install of Windows 7. 
on. I've, I've not put 10 on because I don't know how to use it yet. Uh, so yeah, hopefully Windows 7 loads up on this machine. And then all we have to do is get rid of the whole university title at the front. Doesn't look like it's hosting any uh, info on here. But we'll find out when we get inside because it said any files and documents saved will be packed, packaged into uh, filed named old windows. So we could have a little snoop around I guess if we really wanted to. Right, looks like we're in folks. Well, type of user. Uh, well, Stuart. All I can say, sir, is you're a bloody diamond. Right, let's get my favourite favourite browser on the Systomo. Oh my god. I am chuffed, mate. Massive thumbs up still. Thanks, man. Totally friggin' chuffed, man. She is a working computer. We just need to tarter up a little bit now, get the, uh, what's it called, the printer installed on there and, well, we'll be ready to freaking go. I need to charge my phone up, I need to take the padlock back downstairs, lock up, turn the lights off and go and meet Tom for some tea times. After, of course, I've been to see the designer. Good day so far. Freaking rights, man. Right, we're at the harvester in Chesterfield. We're waiting for Tom to turn up, uh, but we're having a seat on these pretty nice tables out here. They're made out of resin, but I like them all the same. And I like them ones as well, I think they look pretty good. Don't you think, Dom? Yeah. So yeah, supping on the Stoford Press. Until, uh, until Tomboy gets here. Oh, I'm waiting for my tomboy. He's, re he's reversing into that spot there. Yeah, that's the one. What is it just Tom and Apple? Yeah. Take it. Oh look, he's on curb. <laughs> Look at that for parking skills. Great parking skills, Tom. Look at that. <laughs> Dom, don't bang your head on my arm. I'm filming, darling. <laughs> you ain't disabled, bae, buddy. You ain't disabled, bae. <laughs> so when we went to the toilet there was a bloke stood in the middle and Dominic made me use the child's urinal and he used the big boys one <laughs> well the bloke said uh, maybe he's trying to pay you a compliment <laughs> Said, oh, that's cold, it just looked odd though that I had to get on my knees to use it. <laughs> <laughs> my knees are wet no, now. When you, when tip oh well, that's why I had to wash it under the tap, you see, but that dryer, it nearly blew my nuts off. <laughs> oh. oh, this is what we get when Tom takes us out for dinner. <laughs> Bloody hell. Best no. all you can eat corn places. <laughs> The best. Hey, okay. and that's the loaf that we had to share between five thousand. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's last time he brings me here. He just coughed your lung up, son. We're not running out of bread anytime soon. Oh my god! Oh, what? Anyway, for the uh, for the scoop on scoop gen and uh, scoopers and tickers, tickers, check out Tom's latest video. But as far as it goes for tonight, that's it. We're done, aren't we, bud? This is our website. Well, can't uh, have any more doom bar. That's it. I'm full. Well, we can't say much more either because the racket that kids are causing. So we'll see you. Uh, I'd rather drink doom bar than indie.
Indy? Yeah. Oh, brew dog, you mean. Brew dog, yeah. And on that note, we'll see you tomorrow. Moon's out. Now, here's a word from our sponsors. <coughs> 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 <coughs>